so we have our center chain right here. It's the same on both sides. It doesn't matter which side you get your regular kip on collar to. It could be this way, it could be this way, or it can be this way. It doesn't matter. Once you have this on here, leave this part alone. Grab the other side that doesn't have a leash. Make a small little arch. Small I'm going to zoom into that. Yeah. Running through. What you want to do is make like a letter P. P for puppy. You should see a letter P. So have it straight this way, straight that way. That way you can tell. Letter P. Once you have it this way, if she's looking at you, let's say if her head, if she's looking at you, you put it straight over her head and she walks on your left hand side. This should cinch up nice and easy if done correctly. Cinch up and release. If you do it incorrectly, like a letter Q, it'll cinch up but it won't really let go. It just stays there. So make sure you have it on the right way. Blondie, come here. Good girl. Good cop. So she's looking at me. I see a letter P. I'll put it over her head. Then what you want to do is grab this ring, have this behind her head right here. That way it's out of the way. What you want to do is grab a couple treats. Let her know that you have them. Keep this leash loose. Good. What you want to do is you want to walk around your left hand side and guide her with the treats. Make sure the leash is nice and close to you. And then start walking. At this age and stage we are still doing a lot of leading. And that's what we're doing with the treats. We're guiding her in the proper position to walk nicely at our pace. And when we stop, we bring her to a sit. Uh, another lap, please, Jess. And she should learn to m pay attention to you because of the leash. Jess, why don't you come closer to me and show the leash correction. So if she starts pulling, if she starts being a little uh, distracted, what we do is use a cinch crotch to give her a little tug and release. It's got to be a little cinch and release it. See like that? Good girl. You do a little cinch and release just to get her attention. It's like a snap of your fingers to let you know, break her fixation as well, and let you know she's messing up and she'll settle down and go back to walking where she's supposed to be at, which is right at your left. See tug. right there, yeah. Small yeah, tugs. Like They're just like cinch tug release. Tug and release. That's all you want to do. You don't want to keep touching on it unless it's an emergency. We're just going to give a little tug and release. And she'll settle down. Not not a tug of war. It's a cinch. Let's get their attention. <laughs> Mondi. Okay. Just and this is where we show off that she is still just a puppy. She's starting to get very distracted and tired. So we need to end this positively. So Jess is going to try to get her just to sit, and then he will take the leash off. So that we can end positively and she doesn't get her way, we get ours. There it is. Okay. And we released her with the okay. So she knows she can run around and play.